Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to another conversation inside of Legacy Farmer. I'm the founder of Legacy Farmer. My name is Jace Young, and inside of today's conversation, we're going to be talking about how more acres doesn't equal more profits. Now, a lot of farmers and ranchers inside of the U.S. today, um, whenever a neighbor goes down or a neighbor loses some acres or you just hear some acres pop up somewhere, mentally for a lot of farmers and ranchers, and this is what we experience inside a legacy farmer all the time, mentally for a lot of farmers and ranchers, they go into this place where, okay, I got to jump on those acres. I'm already farming 5,000 acres. There's 2,500 more that just opened up. I have to jump on these things because I don't know when it's going to open up again. Now, a lot of people have especially done that over the past, you know, eight years or so, because since 2012, we've seen a downturn in the markets um, and things haven't been great. And there's been a lot of acres popping up. And a lot of guys at that time, we follow through 2012 where guys were making a pile of money. And then 2013, 2014, a lot of acres may have popped up and guys could have taken on 2,500 or 5,000 acres just like that. Maybe it was a year, maybe it was over two years, whatever it is. But a lot of people, they doubled their operation in that time. And a lot of those people today, my friends are suffering. Uh, reason is because is financially they couldn't handle it. The downturn happened and all of a sudden they invested all this money in purchasing new equipment, um, investing in new ground and all these things. And now all of a sudden the markets turn and they're sitting there not knowing what to do. They're not knowing what to do. Now, why do we inherently do this? Why do we take on more acres? Why do we say yes to everything when really we're not in a financial position or even a team position? If you have teams inside of your farm operation, your ag business, or even us as a leader, we're not in the mental, mental place yet where we could even handle that much more on our plate right now, right? Because you have your family at home, you have all these things. But again, a lot of farmers and ranchers are just ag business owners. We like to say yes to everything. We like to take on more than what we can or what we should, because we all, we're also competitive too, right? We want to be able to prove our neighbors wrong or prove the people in our town wrong or whatever it may be. But we end up shooting ourselves in the foot when we operate this way. We end up setting ourselves up for failure. And I can prove that because I've talked to over 500 farmers and ranchers from across the U.S. just in the past year and a half alone. All of them facing these different problems, these different challenges. All of them have stories around taking on more acres than they should have or than they were prepared to because one, they were saying yes, but then two, they have their banker that uh, that allowed them to do it as well, right? You see, guys, the biggest problem that we have inside of the ag industry today is nobody's, nobody's making sound business decisions. Everybody's reacting emotionally because a lot of farmers and ranchers, they feel big and bad if, they, if they're farming 5,000 acres, but all their neighbors are farming three right? Or that they just, there's this ego that goes with it. And that ego is that emotion. And that emotion leads to financial disasters because you make decisions about what you need to do in business before you're actually even ready for it. Again, ready financially wise, ready with your team, ready with equipment, ready with your family, ready with yourself as a leader inside of running your business. A lot of people, they end up burning out and they burn things down, especially financially because they take on more than what they should. Instead of just trusting the process, taking on things a little bit at a time and going for a long-term sustainable growth over years. Like you and I both know this, anything that's going to last, it's, it's built over years. The things that are fads in one or two years, those things never last. They never last. But the big companies, the big farmers, the big operations, or just big businesses in general, those things are built with little incremental growth year after year after year after year until one point they hit a breakthrough point and then they, they go up pretty substantially because they put in the work. They've established the foundation. A lot of us, you're making, as an ag business owner, a lot of them are making bad or poor decisions because they're, they're taking on this additional work or trying to expand the business before they've really established the foundation. Without any foundation, you're screwed you're screwed. I've experienced this myself firsthand with my businesses. I've talked to hundreds of other farmers and ranchers and ag business owners experiencing the same thing. And then we have over 200 members inside a legacy farmer that have all talked about the same thing. And right. And what we're doing inside of legacy farmers is trying to keep those things from happening. Talking about problems, talking about mistakes, talking through specific decisions that have to be made inside of the business to make sure that we're making sound, logical decisions and not decisions driven by our ego or emotions. Because again, we know where those are going to end up for you. And at the end of the day, it's not just about you, right? It's just not, not just about the ag business owner, but it's about everything that we build our business for, which is our family at home, which is our family at home. And a lot of people, when we make these, these poor decisions inside of the business and we, we double down or we take on more ground than what we're supposed to, or we invest more money than we're supposed to, or take out bigger loans or buy this ground, whatever it is, like we're also sacrificing our loved ones at home too. That's not a joke. Right. So we have to consider everything because the implications from a, a bad business decision, yeah, it's going to hurt financially. It's going to hurt really bad at home too. And there's a lot of guilt and shame that comes with that because again, 
we take action and we do things when we're not really ready yet. So my friends, I hope you found value inside of this conversation today. My, my goal here is to get you to start thinking about the decisions that you're making inside of your business and making sure that you're not, you're not jumping up and, and taking on massive amounts of growth when you're really not ready for it, when you really have not spent the time to build out the foundational systems and processes to get your business in a position where it can take on that gain. It can take that growth. And I'm sorry, but that building out that foundational work, it is not sexy. It's not fun. It's grit work. But at the end of the day, the long-term sustainable and successful businesses inside of this country, especially on the farms, they spent years doing that and fine-tuning and critiquing that foundation so it's rock solid so that when these opportunities for growth do come up, they can jump on it just like that and nothing is shaking in their system. So my friends, hope you found value inside of this episode today. Would love to hear your comments below this conversation or below this video, and we will catch you inside of the next conversation.